when a column is subjected to an axial load with a moment about any one axis that is either major axis or minor axis then we can say the column is axially loaded with uniaxial moment sometimes the axial load is acting at an eccentricity e from the column center along any one axis only then also it is called as column with uniaxial moment so when we are finding this type of column in building frame let us try to find the answer of this question by considering a building frame with 9 columns and 12 beams the center to center spacing of a column is equal to 4 meter in this consider the column c4 which is connected by three beams b1 b2 and b9 the beam b1 and b2 with same span are connected along the same axis but on opposite side of column therefore the effect of moment on column c4 due to beam b1 and b2 will be zero but on the other side of the column only beam b9 is connected and no beam is on opposite side to balance the moment caused by beam b9 hence moment will act on the column due to b9 along the beam line this we can verify in bending moment diagram computed using stat pro software is456 2000 gives the design methodology for this type of column the clause 39.5 suggests the use of interaction chart given in sp16 for the simplified design in these charts the curves for pu by fckbd versus mu by fckbd square are plotted for different values of p by fck where p is the reinforcement percentage these interaction charts are given for three grades of steel fe250 fe415 and fe500 and four values of d dash by d that is 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 0.15 and 0 0.20 here d dash is the effective cover to the reinforcement for rectangular section two types of charts are given based on the reinforcement placement first reinforcement on two sides these are from chart 27 to 38 and second reinforcement on all four sides this type is given in chart 39 to 50 for circular column section the charts are from 51 to 62 so let us try to understand the complete design procedure for the column subjected to combined axial load and uniaxial moment with the help of numerical example watch this video till the end to understand the concept visually in more simplified way Subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of new videos. So let us design a column of size 300 mm by 400 mm with effective length of 3.5 meter. The column is subjected to factored load of 1100 kN and factored moment of 150 kN meter about major axis. The grade of concrete and steel are M25 and FE415 respectively. The effective cover to the reinforcement is 60 mm. Find the reinforcement for two cases. Case A when reinforcement is provided on two faces only and case B when reinforcement is provided on all four faces. Let us find out first the given column is short or slender column. As per IS 456-2000, a column member may be considered as short when both the slenderness ratio Lex by D and Ley by B are less than 12, where Lex and Ley are the effective length in respect of major axis and minor axis respectively. Capital D is depth of column in respect of major axis and 
B is the width of column. Assume the value of LEX and LEY equal to given effective length that is 3500 mm. Now we get LEX by D equal to 8.75 and LEY by B equal to 11.67. Here both the slenderness ratio are less than 12. Hence this is short column. In next step, let us compute the eccentricities. First, calculate the actual eccentricity due to moment. This is equal to 136 mm. As per clause 25.4, all the columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity, which is equal to unsupported length of column divided by 500 plus lateral dimensions divided by 30 subjected to a minimum of 20 mm. So let us calculate the minimum eccentricities that is EX min and EY min in respect of major and minor axis respectively. As the unsupported length of column is not available, hence consider it equal to the effective length 3.5 meter. Put all the values in mm in this formula. After solving, we get EX min equal to 20.33 mm and EY min equal to 17 mm. Here, actual eccentricity acting is more than the minimum eccentricity. Hence, design the column as short column subjected to axial load and uniaxial moment. IS456 gives the design methodology for this type of column. The clause 39.5 suggests the use of interaction chart given in SP16 for the simplified design. In these charts, the curve for PU by FCKBD versus MU by FCKBD squares are plotted for different values of P by FCK, where P is the reinforcement percentage. Therefore, to use the interaction charts for the computation of percentage steel, we require value of Fy, which is 415 Newton per mm square, then value of D dash by D, PU by FCKBD, and MU by FCKBD square. After putting all the values in this formula, we get D dash by D equal to 0 0.15, PU by FCKBD equal to 0 0.367 and MU by FCKBD square equal to 0 0.125. In next step, let us compute the longitudinal reinforcement for case A, that is, if reinforcement is placed on two faces only. So, select the appropriate chart for reinforcement on two sides, FY equal to 415 and D dash by D equal to 0 0.15. For this, we use chart number 33. So, let us get the value of percentage steel from this chart. For this, in the chart, mark the MU by FCKBD square value 0 0.125 on the horizontal axis and draw a vertical line from it. Similarly, mark the PU by FCKBD value 0 0.367 on vertical axis and draw a horizontal line. Get the intersection point of these two lines. Here, this point is approximately in the middle of P by FCK curve for 0 0.08 and 0 0.10. Hence, we can consider the value of P by FCK at this intersection point equal to 0 0.09. So, after putting the value of FCK, we get the percentage still required as 2.25. As per clause 26.5.3, the minimum longitudinal reinforcement should be 0.8% and maximum 6% of gross cross-sectional area of the column. But for the practical purpose, maximum reinforcement is taken as 4%. Here, the calculated percentage steel satisfies the condition of minimum and maximum steel. So, get the total area of the steel required. After calculation, 
it is equal to 2700 mm square. Next, let us fix the number of bars to be provided as longitudinal reinforcement. Select the bar diameter as 25 mm. The cross sectional area of this bar is 490.6 mm square. Now compute the number of bars. In column, always provide the even number of longitudinal bars. Hence, provide six number of 25 mm dia bars as longitudinal reinforcement. Thus, the total area of the steel provided at two faces only is equal to 2944 mm square. In next step, let us compute the diameter and spacing of the lateral ties. As per IS code, the diameter of the lateral ties shall not less than one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar and in no case less than 6 mm. Here, only 25 mm bar diameter is used for longitudinal steel. Hence, the one fourth value of dia is 6.25 mm. Therefore, use the 8 mm diameter lateral ties. Next, the spacing of the ties shall not be more than the least of the following. First, the least lateral dimension. Second, 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal bar and third 300 mm. Here first least lateral dimension is 300 mm and second 16 times smallest dia of longitudinal bar is, is 400 mm. Hence provide the spacing of ties equal to least of all these three values that is 300 mm. Therefore provide 8 mm dia bar as a lateral ties at 300 mm center to center. In next step let us compute the longitudinal reinforcement for case B if reinforcement is placed on all four faces. So select the appropriate chart for reinforcement on all four sides Fy equal to 415 and D by D equal to 0.15. For this we use chart number 45. So let us get the value of percentage steel from this chart. Adopt the similar procedure for the computation as explained in case A that is reinforcement on two side. Here the intersection point is between P by FCK curve for 0 0.10 and 0 0.12. Based on the location we can consider the value of P by FCK at this intersection point equal to 0.115. So after putting the value of FCK we get the percentage still required as 2.875. Here the calculated percentage still satisfies the condition of minimum and maximum steel. So get the total area of the steel required. After calculation it is equal to 3450 mm square. Next, let us fix the number of bars to be provided as longitudinal reinforcement. Select the bar diameter as 25 mm. The number of bars required is 8. Hence, provide 8 number of 25 mm dia bars as longitudinal reinforcement. Thus, the total area of the steel provided at all four faces is equal to 3925 mm square. Provide the lateral ties similar to case A, that is 8 mm dia at 300 center to center. Finally, let us see the design summary and reinforcement detailing. Here, the longitudinal reinforcement is calculated for two cases. In case A, reinforcement is placed on two faces only. Here, we provide the six number of 25 mm dia bars as longitudinal reinforcement. In case B, reinforcement is placed on all four faces. Here we provide eight number of 25 mm dia bars as longitudinal reinforcement. If you like this video, then share your thoughts in comment section. Subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of such interesting videos for visual and simplified learning of various civil engineering topics.